Okay. Uh, we don't need to talk to the grave digger, so I think investigate the case of the corpses coming back to life. Didn't wait, didn't I already do this? Or do we need to talk to the grave digger? Is that what happened? Sweet Jesus, don't scare me. I'm just here to see if the dead are lying down as they should. Goodbye. Mm. Good luck with the WAS, you know? Let me know when you get. I'm wondering if maybe. Did I load the wrong file? Because I thought we dealt with the guys. Guess not. I guess I didn't save after that point, or maybe I died. No. Ah, uh, the gravedigger advised me to look for him on Green Square. I forgot about this. Okay, so Green Square is that area. There's like a there's another area that we need to go to. So let's do this instead. Now is Green Square part of Pavosky? I don't know. This way. Okay. Why the hell is it bringing me here? Uh, I really hope these what side quests aren't bugged. Let's wait until... Let's just fight the, the guys. See if we can just progress this. Thought there was stuff we could interact Have with. Have you here. been feeling tired lately? Yep. We've already Have had this dialogue. Are you the one giving orders to the WAS? Look who's here. A magician temper. He hates us. He's a loud mouth. Ask about the ravaging of the tomb. If the cemetery is sacred to you, why don't you explain desecrating other people's tombs? This is all your fault. The black energy has polluted this earth. The dead are outraged by it. We need to ward off the evil powers. I'm getting fed up with you. This is the last moment for you to walk away unharmed. Demon, devil, let's get him sorted. I can feel my milk going sour at home. Come on. God, the line reads are so good. All right. I think we're good on this. I don't think I can do anything else. So what do I want to do? I don't think any of these guys are particularly... What are they going to do? Hold on. Team defense inflicts damage and reduces focus. Cast team counterattack. Okay, so we want to we wanna reduce or interrupt him. There's that. And let's see. Do that one. This should be fine. Oh, did that break him out? It didn't. Hmm. We need to attack with Bukovac. 
And we need to attack him with Uber. Okay, I see now. What does this guy do? Alright. We might be able to take this guy out pretty quick. Because we gave him suffering and inflicted 24 damage in a single attack. Alright. This guy... Gets the Uber treatment. And then... This guy... Old wound, salutor. Actually, what we're gonna do is old wound this guy to get suffering on him if it will inflict it. It will, okay. And then next turn we'll switch to Bukovach and kill what's his name? The guy in the middle. This will heal me. Right? No, it won't. No, it doesn't. All right, let's suffering this dude. Give me 14 health back. Give him suffering, broke his action. Oh God, they broke my focus. All right. Bukovach. And now this will do damage based on the total suffering. So 24 damage to this guy. And then um, let's do this. Okay, didn't break his attack. Ooh, this might be it for us. Yep. Ah, rats. That's tough. This is a tough fight. All right, let's see. Come on. Let's do this again. I'll you. Hmm. All right. All right. Uh, very first thing we need to do. Team counterattack is dangerous. That's one of the things we need to do. So we have to switch. The issue is that doing setup with Uper would be way better than using Bukovac on this first turn, but this will cast Suffering on him, which is good. And then for this guy, I guess we'll just try to... Well, this guy's pretty bad. We'll Suffering him as well. So we inflicted two Suffering this turn. That's pretty okay. All right. And I could come in here. All right, let's do this again then. And then for this, we're going to attack him there. Okay. And that gave him suffer. Oh, it only gave him suffering again. God damn it. I was certain that would, uh, Inflicted on a random enemy. Let's do this. There we go. Alright, reduce some of our incoming damage. Suffering, perfect. And then... Booper. Go here and just um, heal ourselves with this attack to take him out. That's fine. Okay. 
they all th all three of them have suffering. I can probably kill him this turn if I do this. Yeah. All right, this this fight's going much better because we're healing ourselves. We're maintaining. There we go. He'll take damage after this, I think. And die because of suffering. Look at that. Okay. Ooper, do something. Heal me, baby. Action, reaction to inflict suffering again. All right, hey. Okay, it didn't interrupt him, unfortunately, so that kind of sucks, but... Um... And that'll give Ooper much bigger attacks. Ah, right, we don't even need it. All right. John asks, what is this presumably Slavic flavored game about? This is about um, a uh, thaumaturge who summons his persona to solve problems. That is the best description I can give. We're going to make a hard save. Just so that I don't need to redo that. There you go. Hmm. Find a day to uh, a way to deal with the WAS. Father Pavatsky, the living dead. There's no miracle nor imminent ap apocalypse. The resurrected corpses are assisted by a prankster who knows not his place well. Who knows? Who not only knows his place well, but also works. Blah blah. We knew that. Um. Follow the thread. Loudmouth. WAS leaflet. 10 Moynarska Street, Moynarska Tilna. Okay. Warsaw Anti Thaumaturge Society. There are no facts that cannot be distorted. Members of the Warsaw Anti Thaumaturge Society are convinced that every thaumaturge eats the brains of infants for breakfast and washes them down with infusion made from virgin's tears. To sum it up, they're a bunch of ignorants who react to everything incomprehensible to them with panic and aggression. You can guess that the WAS members are not particularly fond of my family. I won't say that I'm particularly hurt by it. I mean, makes sense, right? All right. So why does this want me to wait here? What a day. Oop. Cooked out of the window. Uh, wait here. Let's wait. Try morning. Okay. So good. It didn't just want us to. It didn't try to change the day. It it um or it wasn't glitched. It just wanted us to move on. Woo. Perfect. Green square. Okay, so this is them. So what did the Ruski want? He asked me if I knew how many poles we need to seize Warsaw. Which one of you is Lech? I am. What's your business? Oh my god. Digging out the cemetery at night. I know you're the one digging up bodies from graves. Valush and his crew are also friends of yours. What? I have no idea who you're talking about. Uh, Maybe he's drunk. It's some lunatic. We have no choice, fellas. He's asking for a beating. This is just the one random group of Americans in this game. <laughs> this is very funny. Oh, we don't have dimension. We don't have word. Seven HP every round. Okay. We'll have to do Bukovac first to make him invulnerable and start whittling them down very quickly. Um, how am I gonna do this? Um, um, let's see. Interrupt that attack. Then Bukovac. Inflict suffering. There we go. Good. All right, they don't do too much damage, so it, it is going to be just a battle of attrition. 
Inflict suffering, that's fine. Inflict suffering, that's fine. And that will offset their healing a little bit. All right, so all three of them are suffered, which is very good. Because now, um, I can deal 24 damage in a single hit. What is the number one? This guy. Puny thrust, counterattack prepping. Puny thrust. Okay. Um, we could do that. And then for this guy, 24 damage. So they'll be dead, and then I can switch back to Uber and start healing myself because I am getting low health and I need status heal. Alright, did not deal double damage, but could have been sick if I did. Ooh, but it killed him. Okay, perfect. Summon Persona, Uber. Now, Uber is gonna attack him to heal me, and then I am. Hmm, slow as action. Let's try this. Ah, didn't work. That's fine. I, I have to heal my negative state after this, I think. Or else I'll probably die. 14 HP is good. Okay, good. We broke his action. Perfect. So now I can cast Suffering on him and reduce my negative status effects. Let's go, janky European persona. This is good. Attack, heal. I do think that the game needs like a guard mechanic. That that would be the thing that could like really cinch it, I think. That's the thing that it feels a little bit like it's missing, in my opinion, at least. Okay. Holy Virgin, save me. What do you want from me? Who is this guy? This voice is so familiar. He sounds like, um... Aaron Dismuke, maybe? No? Is that... That's not his name. Voice actor. He actually does sound a little bit like FMA original Alphonse. What was his name? I think it might have been Aaron Dismuke. Anyway. Uh, Pergy says, has every encounter been 3-2? to two? Um, I think we had a 4-2 to two once. I, I'm not 100% sure. But yes, we have two people in our party always. Why do you disturb the dead? Aren't you ashamed? I won't do it again, really. But it wasn't my idea, I swear. They told me to. I know and this as voice for actor. And people, they're tight with the carpenter. He builds coffins in the nearby yard. I'm going to lose my mind if I don't figure this out. Who told you to do it? Oh, this one guy. Konechne. Vojimiej Konechne. The head of this whole WAS. <laughs> People won't find out who defaced the graves of their loved ones on one condition. Thank you, God, thank you. What do you need? I need you to tell me something. Why did the Vojimish make you dig up the corpses? Well, the way I see it, he wanted to scare people. And it worked, didn't it? I think I need to have a chat with Vojimish. Oh, since you're going there, can you tell him I'm still waiting for the money? He said he'd get it from membership fees, so he can't say he doesn't have any. John asks, where is this set? Uh, this takes place in uh, Russian-occupied Poland in 1904, I believe. Upon hearing the sounds of longing, your thoughts are unwittingly carried off somewhere to the distant lands of Brittany or the steppes of Zaporizhia. Zaporizhia. 
Then the musician turns his crank more violently, and the sobbing and the buzzing of the dog brings a dose of sobriety to the soul. Cool. Cool instrument. I go up here. This is already, yeah, this is the viewing point in front of my house, so I don't have anything to do with it there. All right. All right, back to Pavatsky. But yeah, it takes place in Warsaw. I think it will be visible now just how much better the the performance in the game is because it is the latest patch like quadrupled my frame rate. I'm very happy about it. Ooh, okay, we got an investigation zone here. Yeah, nothing there. Okay. Fill out forms A1, B, and D12. Pay the entry fee. Hey, he's a magician. Who's the head of this shit house? I am. Wojimiusz Konieczny, chairman of the Warsaw anti thaumaturge Society. And you are either extremely insolent or stupid to come here, Tempermancer. <laughs> Get them sorted. Point out that you've already met. Well, well, if it isn't the troublemaker from the cemetery whom I have beat the shit out of once already, in the presence of the press to boot. What are you doing here? My papa liked the word Tempromansa. He was very hopeful it would catch on in Polish. I'd love to see his face right now. Can you get to the point? Hmm. Let's talk like civilized people. You can't talk to magicians. They're non-human like the vampires prowling the cemetery. What do you want? As a result of my decisions, this path is closed. Interesting. I demand an apology. My beloved Papa's grave has been desecrated. <laughs> I won't apologize for anything. We combat black magic, which is a noble cause. Either you apologize, or I'll smash your face in. Valdush, let's go. There's no point. Did you come here to ruin me? Then now I'll take a look around. Don't try any tricks. I felt something. Where is it? There we go. Conventions of the Masters of Thaumaturgy. Conventions of the Masters of Thaumaturgy and an appendix. The basic dangers caused by thaumaturges and how to defend against them. The darkness engulfs our land gradually, first hiding in corners and alleys, so uh, to soon break out into the daylight. Strong and unhindered, therefore, we are giving the readers this document. Control over here. My mouse control is bad. There we go. Which we will reveal to everyone the truth about what thaumaturgy is and what threat it poses to the human race. In the subsequent chapters, the following topics will be described in detail. Preface, what we know about thaumaturges, thaumaturge physiology, Physiology, skull shape, and predisposition to black magic. Part 1. Conventions of Thaumaturge's secret meetings. Appendix 1. On the f power over minds, charms, hypnosis, and how to defend against them. 2. Victims of Thaumaturge's statistics. 3. Thaumaturgy as a source of disease and pestilence in humans and animals. 4. Rituals and kidnapping of children. 5. Dealings with the serpent. 
people. Dealings with the serpent people? <laughs> That's good. I like that. That's funny. Six, spells, incantations, and amulets against thaumaturgy. We encourage you to study this book carefully. A well-known em enemy poses a far lesser threat. We don't know the name of the author, but their work may be quite popular with WAS. The cover pages, printed letters, uh, and printed letters have been penetrated by sincere mockery and incredulity. Someone who browsed the book recently didn't treat it seriously. I can bet this one will be the prettiest of all. Unfinished banner. Reluctance stood in the way of finishing the work on time. Misconceptions about the task caused frustration. There's still some glowies around. Letter from a Prussian official. A letter from a Prussian official expressing gratitude for providing valuable information and mentioning the money Vojimirs uh, received for his help. Vojimirs? Vojimirs? Crumpled letter. World anti thaumaturg Society, London, 53-4, Knightsbridge. To Mr. Vojimirs Konechny. Konechny. Hard to say. Thank you for your letter. We have read the report on the activities of the Warsaw Society and are impressed by the enthusiasm with which they are carried out. To answer your main question, unfortunately, despite our shared goals, we do not see the possibility of cooperation between us and incorporation of the Warsaw Society into our structures as a local branch of the WAS. R. Our organization would never go so far as to incite violence on this scale. We also believe that thaumaturgy can be cured, and this is the strategy we have adopted to fight back. We hope that the Warsaw Society will also someday mature to such conclusions. Sincerely, George Kenneth Carlyle, president of the World anti thaumaturg Society, translated by Yanina Chijikauna. I am sorry, Polish viewers. The desire to make the world a better place and to care for the weak should be everyone's main goal in life. It was no different for me. From my early age, I felt that I was destined for great things, although my mission would not be easy, and the, goal, the road to my goal would lead through thorns and rocks. However, when I discovered the century's hidden truth about where all the suffering of humanity comes from, I could not remain indifferent. I decided to fight for the happiness of ordinary folk and once and for all get rid of thaumaturges, also known as temperomancers. Thaumaturges, the dregs of society with minds twisted by black magic, take revenge on random people for ill-perceived harm. They manipulate corrupt minds and poison souls. And all this is done in order to take twisted pleasure from the misfortune of simple people and to achieve their ever-present goal to assume total control over the world. He devoted his whole life to fighting something he didn't even know the meaning of at all. How sad. Maybe I will try later. Dimension Force 2 Low Word 3. Fuck. Okay. Um, we're hitting stopping points here which is unfortunate in our quests hello hello can I help you do you roam cemeteries and fight vampires too what no I'm new here they've only had me paint some banners for now I've seen them I can tell you're talented it's just doodling I won't bother you anymore Hmm. Okay. What is this? Mind three. God damn it. It belongs to a certain Mr. and Mrs. Krogyuki. It seems to be a little less frequented. All right. Uh, instead of dealing with this quest right now, we will um, go to the tailor and work on this side quest, I guess. Um, or this quest. Because we're going to need to 
work to get our next personas before we can upgrade our abilities and actually progress here. Perry says, pretty cool that this persona connection has empathetic abilities as well. Yeah, so every single persona comes from a different domain. Um, and so you level up your investigative skills by increasing the level of that domain by training your personas. The thing is, is we don't have two of the dimensions because we're still at the very start of the game, actually. I've been playing for 10 hours or something like that, but we, uh, we have not made... Uh, as much progress as it seems. So I only have two of the four starting personas. So we're now that we're hitting this point, it really does seem like we just need to progress through the main quest. Which is fine. I expected as much. Alright, so before I do this, I'm going to make a hard save. Um, and I'm going to name it Pre-Taylor. There we go. Get changed. Oh, that's just what I have. Ooh. Incomplete tailoring designs. There's staggering anger radiating from the patterns. Desperate hands tried to sketch something valid, interesting, and original to no avail. That's all that's left is chaos and impatience. In the dregs, I can still feel the stress that urges the tailor to make more coffee and drink it hastily. Coffee is better than sleep. To sleep is to waste precious time that could be used for more alterations. Uh, Florence asks, did this game inspire Erebus in any way? This game came out like a week and a half ago. <laughs> I made Erebus as a character probably a year ago. Imploring note. The note was written by the tailor's impatient customer, urging him promptly to complete the order. Otherwise, they threatened to revoke their advance and ruin the tailor's reputation. All right, there's more here. Mannequin. Tailor's mannequin. This is where the tailor's ideas come to fruition. There are individual threads of focus left on the mannequin being ripped apart by customers' visits. All the ideas that aren't good enough are rejected, nothing but more alterations. The tailor struggles. The tailor has a steady hand for sewing, but his uh, head reverberates with a lack of ideas. He needs inspiration, as frustration and impatience won't breed any good ideas. The way things are going, he won't finish the job or find creative peace. Excuse me. Damn it. I forgot to turn the key. Sorry, what? You tell me. What is it? I couldn't help noticing you're struggling for inspiration. You've got a keen eye. The book makes it easier? I have to guess what everyone has in their mind. Is there any way I can help? I want to know what people look for in fashion these days. Back in the day, all you needed was two pad legs and a space for your Johnson. <laughs> I don't know what else there is to it. <laughs> if you tell me that, I'll be grateful. I'll sue you anything you want in return. Okay. Let me sharpen my senses. I won't bother. All right. All right, so... Is there anything else here? Um, let's see. What do we need to do? Let's see if we can do this part next. Find the tailor's inspiration. Is it here? Find Taylor inspiration. Do I just have to go and talk to people or what? Hmm. I should go to a barber as well. Let's do that. <laughs> Maybe along the way here we'll meet the inspiration we need. Oh, okay, the barber. Ooh. An empty tube of purple paint. 
The petals of the mallows tremble in the wind, just like her lips trembled during the first kiss that hot summer. Violet rippled with sunshine, and her heart filled with sweetness. The memory of that moment awakens every time she colors the canvas with violet. It's interesting. Uh, is there going to be a painter around here or something? Alright, there's no one there. Hmm... Pavachki has the uh, barber, so let's go to him. Getting a haircut should be pretty simple. I don't, I don't, I'm hoping that it's not going to be a multi-step quest like the other things, because I kind of just want to progress this part. Wait, why is it directing me to there? Ooh. What is this? A metal case with carmine color. The case fell out of a carriage window. Well, maybe she shouldn't have fixed her makeup while she was drunk. Passionate words have settled on the lid. Pleadings for her to go with him. Promises that she would become famous as a dancer in the new world and that everyone would envy her. Huh. So there's a lot of like disparate conclusions to draw around here. Nope. This doesn't seem to have anything going for it other than simply getting a haircut. Come in. Please set my hair to rights. Yes, sir. Oh, we love it. Just straight up. Conform to fashion conventions, gravedigger's dream, strands of hair falling across the forehead at a touch of flippancy. There are not the latest fashion from French hair salons. Dutch pomade, Warsaw lad, increasingly popular in America. I don't really like that one. Classic disarray is Timmy Chalamet hair. What do I want? That's pretty good. I'm sorry. I don't usually talk to clients. Do you like it? Hmm. I can't help noticing that you're the most tight-lipped barber I've been to. And even you admit that you rarely talk to clients. Why is that? When I prepare them for their final journey, it's hard to ask for their opinion. So you style the deceased too? Mostly. They still need to look good. After all, <laughs> you only get a funeral once in your lifetime. It's kind of interesting. So, what do you think? Do you like it? This character is my favorite character so far. <laughs> He's fun. Other than Rasputin, obviously. Uh, Sam says, this is one of my favorite games to watch this year. I've been loving your playthrough. Thank you so much. I've been loving this game. This game is really fantastic. Yes, you're talented. Years of practice. My clients are always satisfied. All right. So, I need to find inspiration for 
the uh, guy. Ooh, let's see. Can we do this? Let's do this one. Okay, this one wants me to wait until a certain time. So let's see if we can actually get this done again. Let's see That's if the latest patch maybe fixed this bug or whatever this was. Nope. So that was noon. Bonjour. Let's Afternoon. So All right. Wait. All right. So this wants me to wait again. So do I wait until night? Is this when the dance lessons are? Yes. Okay. Hey, it fixed it. Okay. So last time we played, the quests were bugged, and it was not letting me do what I needed to do with these. Uh, and it was just constantly pointing me to the thing. Lost note. To buy jacquard vest, fresh flowers, pomade. To do shoes polish, frock coat clean. A jacquard vest, the fifth this month. Envious thoughts accompanied him the entire time he spent running errands. Nestled, ne nesting in his head like mice, gnawing at his well-being. Why are some people born into apartments and others into village huts? All right, now we can get our uh, the experience boost for doing next thing. Ooh. All right. It's no wonder that virtuous citizens find ragtime suspicious. Merriment undoubtedly leads to moral decay. <laughs> All right. Josefa Novinska's Funeral Parlor in Warsaw, 16 Targova Street, offers first-rate decorations and equipment. It arranges funerals ranging from the humble to the most extravagant, very low prices. I love the idea of, like, skimping on funeral costs. Like, low price funeral. It's very funny. Alright, let's see. This might function now. In the afternoon. Okay, so let's wait until the afternoon. And maybe this will work this time. I think it will. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy they fixed this bug. Because it was impossible to figure anything out last time. So snapping my fingers like this uh, gives it, it serves a dual purpose. I'm not just doing it to find out where to go. I'm doing it because when you snap your fingers, you can see these sparkles sometimes, and it points you to points of interest, which give you clues. Postcard from Wudge. Greetings to my beloved Pavel, uh, Auntie Helena. Nice. The greetings on the postcard are covered by a layer of longing. The memory of the gift that came with the postcard gilds the letters. A piece of wool from the Wudge Mills reminds him of the warm-hearted aunt he had to leave there. All right. Boss, we need to start over. The whole base layer. What sort of stomping cut out here for? You're making my people angry. Can't you see the work is in full swing here? It doesn't look as if you're working very hard. Check out this high bro. Where he has been untamed by a real job. And when in fear, then it's workers and they words unite. Why don't you start a fucking revolution? <laughs> Get lost! We want to earn our daily bread. <laughs> this is not the voice I expected from him. I'm sorry. I'll get going. If you step in here, what? Kit, take these dingoes and level it out now. Arise, ye prisoners of starvation! <laughs> Did it, I tell you? You've been for it, fucker? I did it on purpose. Just you wait. We could use some exercise after all that carrying. Are you sure, boss? 
what is the final conflict? <laughs> Oh, sneeze. Yikes. Hello, Zept. Welcome. Hope you're doing well. All right. Uh, Uber disables that one. Dimension Force Mind 4 to disable. Ugh. Dimension Force Word 3. Yeah, so we don't have Word, so we're just going to need to deal with that. They're, they're going to be tough to take down. Shit. That's going to be tough. This might be impossible to do right now. Uh, We'll see. Oh, man. That was a really bad sneeze really discombobulated me uh let's see all right remove his focus and attack him and that's the best i can do right now with that I just have to go for it. It didn't remove him from the timeline. Fuck. These guys might be genuinely impossible to hurt. We'll have to suffering them. Oh my god, that does a lot of damage. Holy fuck, I think I'm dead. Yeah, oh my god. Uh, there is like a less than 0% chance I can get, I can chew through these guys. This is gonna be impossible, I think. Yeah, holy smokes. Um, oh, fuck. I really need these attacks to break them. Twenty one damage. Oh, but that's going to come way too late. I'm dead. I have nothing I can do here. Let's try this. Okay, that broke that attack. Yeah, but I'm dead. Shoot. All right. Can't do this yet. All right, that's fine. Oh, fuck. It starts at the beginning of the battle. Ooh. All right, we'll have to just play it better. That's that's what we got to do. Uh, and I got I to gotta rule really good on stopping damage, which is... Fine by me. We'll just quick attack him. And... We'll just do the same thing. Bloody Penance again. And then here... Suffering. And I will just have Uber constantly attempt to heal me. That's really the best response I have to some of this stuff. Good. Broke his turn. So this will do 14 damage. So he'll heal me 7. This will do 14. So it'll heal me 14. As long as I am able to take these guys out, we should be good. I can 14 back, took him out, so I take considerably less damage every turn now. Um, try to quick attack it, I guess, and then here, yeah, we'll just have him heal me every single turn. Good, broke his turn. This is how we're going to beat this fight. Um, suffering. <laughs> That might not have been the answer here, um, but we'll see. Okay.
break that. And then heal me again. And what can I do? Suffering again. Okay, so that only heals me for two. That's really bad. I don't know if there's a way to math this out. Okay, broke his turn, killed him. Okay. didn't slow him. Fuck. I'll try to interrupt. Okay, that gave me 18 health back. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Alright, interesting. Alright, let's just keep at it. Keep healing myself. That was lucky. The fact that it broke his attack is what made it work. Ooh! Alright. We can do this, after all. Wonderful. You who transform my stormy nights into sunny days and in the depths of sleep extinguish the spells of waking over the course of the evening at Count Orkowski's, I comprehended the true meaning of these words. Opium. Interesting. And, and coconuts. That's very funny. Okay. Um, let's see. So that's another quest down. I believe this should take us to the next thing, which should be over here. Alright, keeps looking like there's going to be stuff, but... I think we need to wait for the afternoon for this. Yep. Oh, I'm so happy that all of these quests got patched. Because I was really excited about these. Because th these give a lot of, like, goofy, fun flavor to the world. right here yeah. there's a chance that the sensors won't pick up on the allegory this sophisticated sometimes the yoke breeds creativity it seems it's fun all right clear out our side quest some more live photography demonstration should be this way uh i think this is gonna send me to the the bench that's over here. It's like right up here to the left, I think. Yeah. Ooh. A, single, a singed piece of plaid vest. Hatred and loathing guided his young hand as he threw away his clothes in an alley and set them on fire. The safe plaid vest, a symbol of Biedermeier. Biedermeier, maybe. And bourgeois boredom burned silently. He felt nauseous at the thought of his family, its passivity and lack of ambition. It was time for fire. Are all of these things sources of Aren't inspiration? Getting sore? Stupid question. Let's. All right. Let's wait until morning. Noon. Oop. Must be afternoon then. Yep. All right, cool.
we're finding a lot of these singed pieces and like clothing artifacts and stuff. So I think it is all different kinds of inspiration. We probably found individual clothing pieces we can ask the tailor to make. That's my guess. I don't know how that mechanic works, but that's what it feels like it would be. Hello. Indeed. Fanciable. Up close. I would even say a solid A to a new. Jeez. I don't know. We'll see when he turns around. Eight it is. <laughs> Will you show us something more? May I ask what you ladies are doing? What everyone does. We're evaluating. A solid eight. <laughs> you know, on a scale from one to ten, you look quite spiffy, sir. Why are you smoozing with some sucker who's already suited and booted for his own funeral? And you, lousy fop, got an itch in looking for some philandering at the marble orchard, are you? Six, five, zero. There's nothing here for you. Mr. Eight got some you-know-what, so he caught our eye. And vice versa. I know this voice actress as well. Get ready for some shellacking, lads. We got a dandy looking for some extra ventilation. And, as luck would have it, not too far from the orchard either. Sir, you have the unique opportunity of becoming a ten. <laughs> God, I love the writing in this game. It's so good. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Fuck, this game's good. Oh, they got it. Ah, shit, man. I love this game. Everything about this game is so great. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> I love taking out the gun. I wish it was just our automatic attack. Neurogalactic says, I'm dying to play it. I promise you this game is worth whatever they're asking for it. I don't even remember how much it cost because I was really interested in it. And I was like, I'm going to buy this so I can play it on stream. But then like my entire concept of what the hell this game was, was completely erased the moment I started playing it because it's so insane like this game is just bananas it is bananas in the best way i love it so much <laughs> all right we'll just take him out because i need uh we need to just make sure we keep our health up yeah i knew it was gonna do that so 17 down we should get quite a bit of health back uh what is this penetrating bullet Stylish shot, stylish shot. Okay, um... Hmm... I'll just try to interrupt again. There we go. Suffering is good. So now we have two people with suffering. Um... Which I want. Because I can suffering... Him. And then with him, attack again. I probably won't even need to summon Bukovac. Oop. We'll see what this does. Uh, what is this? Stylish shot. Stylish shot. This is the bigger stylish shot. Uh, either way, it doesn't. It's not really that much damage, so it's not really a big deal. Six HP. Took him down. Okay, perfect. Took him down. Or no, I. Stunned him, removed his turn. God, I love the fact that this game uses the Grandia combat system. It's so smart. I love it so much. Uh, what do I want to do? Slow your action. Heal me. Stop your action, then heal me. Good.
Hey gamer, hope you're doing well. All right, uh, where are we going this way? We took out the guy. All right, so that was just an opportunity to get hit and to fight. We can't talk to the ladies again. That's a bummer. I was supposed to be a 10. Yes, sir. My name is Viktor Shulski. Grigory Rasputin said I could find him here. What? Weird. I can sense he's in a drawing room. I did not intend to come here first, um, but that's interesting. We're going to come back out. I don't know why it pointed me to there just then. Is this the live photography showing? It is. Moving pictures. I wonder if they'll ever completely replace traditional photographs. Very cool. All right, let's talk to Rasputin. 